All right, welcome back, everybody. We're on the box three of this case. Star Wars Unlimited, Spark of Rebellion. Uh, recapping through the other boxes hasn't been uh, hasn't been a too bad of a case. Um, still hitting the uh, still hitting the averages uh, minus I think box two. I only got three hyperspace foils, so hoping uh, hoping one of the remaining boxes in this case has four or five. I mean, um, typically you see four of those. You'll get three non-foil legendaries. Um, and yeah, that's about it for that. I can say for what is assumed to be kind of the the norm from the packs. So we start with our leader and our base, our nine uncommons. Or nine commons, sorry. Three uncommons. Um, with the commons, the last uh, last slot of common can be a hyperspace. Either of these can be hyperspace. This third uncommon can be uh, hyperspace. And if it is, it can be uncommon, rare, or legendary. Then you have your rare or legendary slot, and then your foil slots. And your foil can be uncommon, or I'm sorry, your foil can be a regular foil or a legendary, or not legendary, hyperspace. Jeez, oh man. All right, so we got ourselves a our first hyperspace with a, uh, a leader there. Um, those leaders can be hyperspace, and, uh, common, rare, um, and then they can also be a showcase. So, really hoping to pull a showcase in this uh, this case here, but we'll uh, we'll see. There's a common. So we have fallen lightsaber rare and infiltrator skill. So I'm just gonna stand the packs up. I. Uh, Typically pull from the left side and then go down the right side, so. So there we go. <laughs> All right. We got ourselves an Emperor Palpatine. This is one of the leaders. I don't really show them, but all the leaders have have two sides. But, whoo! All right, there we go. That's uh, yes, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. That bad boy right into his sleeve, and I think I have a top loader somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. All right, boom. So this is the example of the showcase. Oh, that is awesome. All right, I will forgive the previous box only having three hyperspace foils in it because this box, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll set that there. I'm gonna try my best not to lean on it and I'm pulling out my next pack and I still need to get through the rest of this pack. Um, so yeah, that first card, like I said, can be a can be a showcase. I'm not a huge fan of it being there. I think a lot of people are kind of in the same boat, but I, it was a complete surprise flipping it over. Um, so we got a rare chopper, and it looks like we have our first hyperspace foil with a snow speeder common. Oh, this box is trash. <laughs> Whew, all right, all right. Everything else in this box is just is just great. All right, so see, yep, there you go. So you can see alternate art. Um, I mean, the hyperspace version of this just kind of expands on the picture, but they have alternate art for both sides. So there we go. All right, I was hoping to pull one so I could uh, specifically of Emperor Palpatine, so I could show off the difference there and. Uh, yeah, did it for me. All right. Well, appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully, uh, you don't give up on the rest of this uh, the rest of this video after after cracking that. Uh, rare, I had no choice. Comment disarm. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. Subscribe. Leave me some comments. <clears throat> every 
uh, every like helps out more than you know. So haven't gotten too many likes on the Star Wars videos, but I'm going to keep opening because I'm enjoying the game and I'm enjoying opening, especially when that shit happens. So, all right, we got Bendu rare and an uncommon with a ruthless raider. Sorry, my mind's going all over the place thinking of this uh, <laughs> this guy here. All right, it's a Academy Defense Walker in hyperspace. Chewbacca. And Force Lightning. There's our first legendary of the box. And then a seasoned Shore Trooper. It's our first non-foil legendary, Force Lightning. and a hyperspace and search your feelings Ooh, there we go ah, I have pulled a ton of these energy conversion labs um, <clears throat> in rare foil I, I've pulled more energy conversion labs in foil than I have in non-foil um, right, people are saying it's the uh, the best base to play um, the rare bases in comparison, if you're just wondering like why, why there's a difference between rare, um, your base has 25 hit points on the rare version on the rare bases and 30 on the non foil or the non rares, so or the commons. Um, but the majority of the rare bases have some sort of epic action, so an action you can utilize once per game. Tarkintown and the Seventh Fleet Defender common foil. So downside is your bases have less uh, less hit points or less damage that they can take, but the upside is you do get uh, get some sort of action that you can utilize with them that is fairly fairly powerful. So. Oh, there you go. There's back to back, so we got ourselves a hyperspace and a non uh, and regular version. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. And, all right. Oh, speak of the devil. There we go. There's an energy conversion lab in non foil, and then the ghost, uncommon foil. Wampa, Mon Mothma, Ruthless Raider, Yoda, Jabba the Hutt, and then some Snow Trooper Lieutenant, Common Foil. One thing I do think I like about the game is that, uh, I mean, whether it's common, uncommon, rare, or legendary, the the, the cards still feel like they, uh, they at least have some balance for cost for the benefit that you get from playing the card so even the commons i mean most of them are lower uh, lower values to play um ooh, nice hyperspace orlando calrissian and some smoke and cinders and a hyperspace tactical advantage that's our second um so most of them are a little lower to play in cost i mean there are a few that uh, that are higher but they at least uh, at least for the, the the cost itself feels uh, kind of on an equal level of the benefits that they provide by playing the cards. There aren't too many vanilla cards in the game. I mean, there are there are some, but even the ones uh, bombing run and Cantina Braggart. But even the ones that aren't like really that aren't really big. Um, that are just very basic and vanilla, they at least still have decent stats. 
All right, and there we go. We get to see the I got all around. Uh, I mean, minus foil versions of all of these, but uh, we've got all around to the each version of Emperor Palpatine. Right, and a redemption. <laughs> Man, this uh, this box is loaded. Foil legendary home one. Uh, I, this restore feature or this restore ability is not something to sleep on. And each other friendly unit gains restore one. Um, and it restore basically just it it heals damage on your base. I'm trying to find a better place to sorry about that. Put this so I can kind of. You know what? Nobody cares about the common leaders. The rares, sure. <laughs> we see, we've seen enough of those. So, all right. Um, but <clears throat> being able to take deal some damage and then heal some damage is uh, very underrated. So, all right. Echo base defender, common. And Emperor's Royal Guard and Asteroid Sanctuary. There is one rare in this game that I have still only have two of. I don't remember what it is offhand. I'm really hoping that uh, I can pull the third to at least finish off my playset. But if I'm going to do a second playset, it means I need four of them. Right there we go. Nice rare. Search your feelings. A heroic sacrifice and shoot first. We are into the second half of the box already. Didn't uh, really say any of that, but <clears throat> again, still appreciate everybody wa that's watching. If you're still here watching, thank you very much. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit like button. Boom. Another Luke Skywalker. <laughs> uh, I think I got one of these in box one. Maybe box two. Box one, yeah. Vader Vader was in box two. So there we go. We got ourselves our second non-foil legendary. So that is on par for a case. Or for a box, I'm sorry. Need uh, one more. It looks like we got a hyperspace foil in the back there. Spoiling that already. All right. And a Saw Guerrera. And a Snow Racer. I thought we already pulled this, but no, we pulled the Snow Speeder. So that gives us our third common. Um, this was one of those I was talking about. That's just vanilla. I mean, doesn't have any special abilities to it when you attack with it, when you play it, when it's uh, destroyed. Um, but, I mean, it only costs three, deals four damage, and can take three. So, if you're comparing it to magic, it's a three, four for three. Better than the old grizzly bears at a two, two for two. Right. Distant Patroller, Cartel Spacer, 97th Legion, and a Bodhi Rook. And boom, there we go. Uncommon, Rebel Assault. So, we hit our fourth hyperspace foil. Um, as I had mentioned, Box 2 only had three hyper, or yeah, only had three hyperspace foils. My experience has been four in a box, so. Hoping maybe this box, since we still got uh, about four or five packs left after this. That'll be one Kenobi and a system patrol craft. Hoping we'll see uh, maybe a fifth in this box then. Keep the uh, keep the averages going. All right. Seventh Fleet Defender. 
command. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the legendary. So this is box 15. Yes, yeah, this is box three of case three. So this is box 15. And this is the first regular command that I've pulled. I've only pulled one other command and it was a hyperspace. I don't think it was foil. I don't remember. It was, uh, it was last case, but that was uh, that was the only one I have not opened yet. So I can officially say I've opened one of every one of every base card. All right, there's the disabling Fang Fighter and a K two S O. I think that's one of the hotter rares at the moment. All right, we got three packs left. Catacombs. Count Dooku. And for a cause I believe in. Pulled one of these out of a box. Uh, I think it was the second case. That's our second foil rare. Um, <clears throat> wasn't keeping the wasn't keeping the foils. Listed on TCG Player, and then realized that a buddy of mine was looking through my rares, and he's like, "Is this thing damaged, or is this is this on the card, or is this on the?" On the sleeve, and uh, yeah, no, there's definitely a bunch of da oh, a bunch of damage to the card, but a hyperspace Luke Skywalker. All right, so like I said, I mean this uh, this third slot for the uncommon uh, can be a non-foil hyperspace uncommon, rare, or legendary. So this makes five five legendaries in this box. All right, we got a seventh sister and some rugged survivors. Um, yeah, I think this has probably been the best, the best box I've opened so far. <laughs> Whew, all right. Foil Legendary, a Hyperspace Legendary, three regulars, and the Emperor. Uh, in Showcase, so gonna make it even better and get a fifth Rainbow Foil, uh, Hyperspace, uh, Rallying Cry, Uncommon, Admiral Akbar, and a Reinforcement Walker. Didn't get there for the fifth uh, Hyperspace Foil, but you! <laughs> All right, this is uh, this guy's the star of the show. I'd make this the uh, the thumbnail, but nobody watched the video then if I did that. I'd just be like, "All right, cool, he pulled that." But hey, so got that. Number one foil legendary, hyperspace Luke, regular Luke, and two events with the Force Lightning and Command. So uh, definitely, definitely a really good box. I'll take it. I, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you have a good one. Take it easy.